Hello everybody, uh, my name is uh, Verstraat Xavier from Oostaker, Belgium. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm uh, now 67 years old and uh, yeah, I'm racing now 52 years in the pigeon sport. We're starting at uh, 1968 and uh, at that time where I'm racing together with my father and in the first uh, 10 years I'm racing only sprint and middle distance and uh, after a few years uh, I'm racing also the middle distance and now the last 20 years I'm a round racer and uh, that is uh, races from uh, 200 to uh, 8 900 kilometers. Um, okay, uh, famous pigeons are uh, 30, 40 years ago uh, the Golden Ball, he was an uh, Olympiad pigeon. Uh, then uh, 10 years later, then we have uh, the Elvis, he was also a famous pigeon because he was a national ace bird uh, from um, Germany. Uh, was also a base pigeon from us and uh, then uh, of course uh, Uno he was national winner from Bourges and the son of him winning also the first national so father national winner the son national winner that was solo and uh, these are uh, a very uh, famous pigeon but uh, those pigeons have a limit they are very good from 200 to 600 kilometers Uno solo yeah, and uh, I'm crossing that and uh, on this moment uh, the last 10 years uh, is uh, of course uh, the, the line of top star is also very uh, successful in the, in the whole uh, Verstraten story uh, because uh, the pigeons from uh, top star they do it also very well from 500, 600, 700, 800 to 900 kilometers no problem yeah, uh, national winners and it's a famous breeder also in the first and second generation I have now on this moment seven grandchildren they winning a first national from a race yeah. the most by other fanciers but uh, this is uh, for me the best publicity that uh, more than 850 different fanciers winning a first prize with direct pigeons from me yeah. Uh, the names uh, of uh, Gabi van der Nabele, uh, Erik Lamboer, um, then uh, Etienne Merlan. Eh? They're winning all first prizes national with uh, grandchildren of uh, Top Star. Eh? Now the next generation is uh, Extra because Extra was a son of Top Star and uh, the pigeon winning also first national. Uh, one year ago, uh, one of my best race hands on this moment is also a granddaughter of Extra. So this is the next generation of Top Star Extra. And uh, yeah, uh, this is one of the success lines. Then uh, and a very also important uh, bloodline is Olala. Um, famous pigeon. Uh, Olala was a national ace bird also. And uh, in the one loft races, uh, also Mr. Hagemuller, he winning two years ago, one times the first in the one loft race of Pattaya. This is the Thailand race, 500 kilometers, extremely hot. And he winning 100,000 euro with the first pigeon. Because, and, the, and that was 50% per strata in combination with Koop, Koopman. So 50% Koopman, 50% Verstraten. Yeah. Uh, one year later, he winning the fourth prize on the general race. Yeah. Also, the same combination that was then uh, Olala with Extra. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, nothing is better for publicity than uh, those bloodlines uh, are successful by other fanciers. Uh, I forgot maybe uh, Mr. Uh, Verkamen, the loft of Verkamen, uh, one of the base pigeons 20-25 years ago was also the famous panther line. Yeah? That was also our bloodline yeah? and th these are in the last 20 years by Mr. Verkamen uh, very famous also. Yeah? So uh, yeah, very good publicity. 
Uh, I'm racing so well with cocks and hands. I'm racing as young bird, uh, as yearling. Really hard race every week, uh, hard selection. And uh, if you ask me a secret, I think it's success is 90% the good pigeons and 10% feeding, uh, medicals, uh, the good loft. Yeah? Um, that's it. But 90% is the good pigeon. Yeah? Uh, I know it enough. Uh, <laughs> yeah, my, yeah, and then, of course, you must good looking because the pigeons, they show you the condition. Yeah, and uh, that is also very important. These are my race loft. Uh, this loft is uh, 50 years old, yeah, but uh, okay, uh, it's successful. And uh, most important thing is that you have a loft that can change in every day when it is too warm. Yeah, change your loft when it is too cold. Yeah, I, I try to, to bring the sunshine in the loft yeah, because pigeons like warm lofts. And uh, this is uh, for me very important, the, the temperature on the loft and, and of course the dry loft. Simply I have uh, hands there, I'm racing with uh, hands. Next, uh, their next loft is uh, Cox. And uh, just before the race, I let them together for a, a few minutes. Uh, and they're the same. I have a loft with the hands and they're a loft with cocks. And uh, I'm racing totally, uh, totally with a hood ship. Yeah? So uh, I have no partners, they stay at home. Yeah? I, I'm racing everything all together. Yeah? And they're sitting together, yearlings and old birds together. Upstairs sitting my uh, young birds, yeah, and uh, my young birds they do also two, three races, uh, more than 500 kilometers. So hard selection, and uh, only the best uh, stay at home. And uh, what is not good enough, that is. Uh, yeah. This is here my uh, cock from my uh, yearlings and my old cocks. Yeah? And uh, like you see, it's now good weather. They're sitting there. Um, if I was cleaning the loft, we put them outside there. Yeah? And uh, just uh, the day from basketing, I'm letting them together. And uh, here sitting my uh, uh, race hands. Yeah? That was original. Um, with these hands I'm racing, that was also widow hood cocks years before, but uh, yeah. yeah, like you see, maybe, hey, come, 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 come. Yeah, okay, uh, I shall show you here. A very important hand. This is my best hand from uh, last, uh, from this year also. This is Jewel. She winning the first national in 2021. Yeah? And now this year she is again one of my best uh, hands. She is a granddaughter of uh, Extra. Yeah? And uh, in... Children uh, Extra? Uh, grandchild. Uh, grandchild. grandchild grandchild uh, of extra and it's also I have seen it's for a part the same bloodline from the national winner from uh, Gino Click it's for a little part the same bloodline oh, okay. yeah, yeah, oh. yeah yeah I saw it now yeah. uh, but uh, the name is Jewel yeah and uh, I shall show you uh, she winning first prizes from 200 kilometers uh, for, uh, second prize from 300 a fifth prize from 400, a first prize from 550 kilometers, and she winning also the first national one year ago. And this year, again, one of my best hands. Yeah, but I will still racing with her.
this is another loft and uh, uh, what I'm learning after 50, 50 years pigeon sport is that uh, the pigeons coming back home at the first place for the territorium. Yeah? How big is the territorium or a new territorium, that is one of the best motivations. Yeah? Uh, the pigeons coming back from the race at second place for the partner. Yeah? So don't be afraid to give them another partner or let them choose another partner. Uh, this is sometimes the same like with uh, people. Eh? Also, uh, you can change. And also, another thing is um, a good loft is a dark loft. Dark. Not warm, okay, but not too much sunshine in your loft because um, we can um, make the same idea when two people make love with each other. Yeah? They do it not in the, in the sunshine, they, they search a dark place or a dark corner. So a good pigeon loft is also a dark with many dark places or so. Yeah? This is also one of the things. Another trick is uh, like these original old, uh, cocks, uh, old baskets. I put here one cock and my hands, my racing hands, they can choice a cock. Yeah, and they're fighting for the cock. Yeah, this is one of the inspirations. Here sitting my widowhood cocks. Yeah, uh, these are also um, one of the tricks. You see there uh, an aviary because I have there the morning sunshine and it's again the same, how warmer, how better on the loft. Yeah, so uh, condition is very important. Uh, the heating, how warmer, how better. Yeah. Uh, so what I do is sometimes I give the pigeons also a new motivation. What I do for these cocks is one of the motivations. Yeah. I let them open and the, the hands, they show them here before. And I do the same with the cocks. I can do here also this. Yeah. And sometimes one of the tricks is the hands coming here and the cock sitting all there or on, on the other way. Yeah. So and I so I try every week something new. Yeah. And uh, the peep the pigeons they like uh, new things, a new loft, a new basking, a new partner, uh, something total new. Yeah. Don't be afraid to testing something new yeah, because pigeons they like it. Yeah, that is one of the motivations, one of the trucks, yeah. new things. Okay, uh, Xavier, young, uh, young uh, pigeons, uh, yeah. motivation. Yeah, I have also sometimes uh, with widowhood hands, they pairing together, yeah, lesbians. Yeah. What I do is, uh, I let them together, yeah. they're sitting on X and they're sitting then uh, with uh, well, with the youngster, yeah, you see also there one, yeah, I let them together and after three, four days you have no problems and they like the youngsters, they like the nest and it's finished with the lesbian uh, hands because one of the problems is racing with widowhood hands and they come lesbian, yeah, one of the reasons is you give them too much corn. Yeah. So with uh, racing hands, you must giving light corn and only the last four times you give them strong food, fat food, yeah. with a lot of uh, energy. Yeah. But only the last four times, it's more than enough. Yeah. That is one of the tricks. I'm racing also with uh, young birds, 10, 12 times at the year. Yeah. And my, my good youngsters or my good yearlings or my good old birds. So don't be afraid if you lose a pigeon and okay, sometimes it's, it's a disaster race, that is possible, but normally the best stay always at the least at the last moment. And I'm racing every week with hands. I use all uh, 30 years. Um, all the products are from the company of uh, Klaus. Yeah, from electrodes, uh, zipper file, uh, Yo de Ferrol, uh, uh, 
Oh yeah, all the products are from uh, Klaus, uh, Aminozoiden, uh, Pico, Picorin, eh? and then uh, for my uh, corn, I use all uh, more than 30 years from Paloma. Eh? So uh, all the corns coming from uh, Paloma, those are not the expensive, cheap good, cheap uh, corn, but uh, very good corn also. Eh? And uh, that's just not so important. The only thing, if I can tell you a secret, is uh, I give by my, the last three, four days, I give extra um, sunflower uh, seeds and e extra uh, hanf. 20% uh, from each at the last four, uh, last four times that they're eating. Very important eh? for, uh, for the rest. Okay, every, every corn, every mix is good. Eh? And what I try to do is changing. I use also red, uh, uh, red mice, yellow mice, uh, and we have also uh, the, the, black, the black mice, eh? because this is just like people. We like not every day the same corn, eh? so, but for the rest, no secrets. Eh? This is here my loft from uh, my young birds. So, uh, like I tell you, I, I'm racing about 10, 12, 13 times at a year with youngsters also, yeah, from uh, 200 to 570 kilometers. Um, so, uh, what next, next week, I saw separated young cocks and young hens. And then uh, uh, I put uh, here cocks and I put there my hands. And on Saturday they come together or just before the race. Uh, I have on every loft, I have also an aviary. A small aviary, like you see, uh, for ventilation and for, uh, it's now warm. But when it is too cold, I close that. Uh, nothing special here, only uh, there is no dusty because uh, I'm, I'm not the big cleaner, but there is no dusty. This, the dusty go under here or the dusty go under that. Yeah? So a good, here a good area, good ventilation is important. The dusty is not good for the fans here because normally we must have mask, but this is a very good loft because all the dusty go under, yeah, from there I have here small ventilation, yeah, you see the dusty, yeah. it's an old loft but it's very uh, economic, yeah. and uh, for the rest what I try to do is uh, next week also door places, yeah. so like I say pigeons uh, they like door places and uh, I show making every week new things like paper boxes and so that they love each other the pigeons yeah, and uh, new loving is the best motivation uh, what i do also with the young birds is uh, the dark system so uh, i make it dark uh, from march to june make i the days uh, I, I make it dark at, at six o'clock in the evening yeah. But from now on, uh, and because the changing of the feathers is otherwise a problem. But for the rest, you see the young birds from here. Uh, and uh, I have about 80 to 90 youngsters every year for myself. And uh, I select, I make a hard selection with them. This is here my uh, breeding loft. Uh, like you see, they're sitting here upstairs, the sleep rooms, because it's warmer here, also for winter breeding, and it's also safe here, because they try to steal uh, all three times our best pigeons, and uh, therefore it's, it's better. Uh, and they're sitting here, nothing specially, but a good, a warm loft, dry, and safe too. Yeah. You can see, I have here uh, about 30 pairs of uh, breeders. It's a direct son of uh, Extra, 
the national winner, grandchild of top star, famous breeder. Uh, I think every year I have two, three good direct children of him. Uh, and I have also, um, this is the 177, this is his nest brother, the 178, also a top pigeon in the, on my breeding loft. And uh, that's his combination from top star with uh, champion. This is here the 252 uh, Dynamite Extra. He is also a son of Extra. Uh, he is the father of the Jewel, national winner in 2021. Uh, uh, he is the father, son of uh, Extra. And it's also the same bloodline by Mrs. Uh, Annemie van Hey. Uh, she winning in 2020 and in 21 also a first national with 50% uh, the bloodline of uh, Verstraten, combination uh, magic and combination with uh, uh, extra. And uh, also the same bloodline of uh, Romario. Uh, this is also in the national winner from Argen by Gino Klicke. Uh, line of Romario. He is also grandchild of uh, Saint Pigeon. Here my face, famous hand. Uh, the name is Sensation. She winning uh, two years ago, uh, the first national from 560 kilometers. Yeah. Uh, she is now on my stock loft. Um, and this is the line from uh, Janus. And uh, on the uh, mother's side, it's uh, the line of Panther. Her mother winning also the first national from this hand. So it's all the second generation uh, national winners. These are typical for uh, races from 300 to 600 kilometer maximum. This is also a famous hand. She winning about 30 uh, top prizes from uh, 300 to 650 kilometers. And she is now uh, on my stock loft. This is the line from uh, Top Star in combination with uh, Captain One Eye. Uh, the typical middle distance pigeons uh, for 300 to 600 kilometers. Uh, my darling, uh, I have also a lot of uh, brothers and sisters and all really uh, top winners on the loft. Uh, this, this, that's a, a photograph from uh, 40, 50 years ago uh, with on the top the golden ball the Mirage, each or uh, Olympiade Pigeon and the uh, National Ace Bird Middle Distance. On left side, Elvis, National Ace Bird of uh, Germany in 75. Yeah. And uh, they told us at that time uh, the Miracle Loft. And one of the reasons was uh, 100 years ago, there is here uh, a miracle uh, happened. And uh, this is only 100 meters from here. Uh, those churches, you see that, and they come every year, 10,000 and then 10,000 people, they uh, bidding to have uh, also a miracle. Uh, and from there, they give us uh, the miracle loft. Yeah. We are uh, three times second national in the cha Belgian championships. Uh, and in 2011, I'm a first national champion. That's his sprint, middle distance and long distance, so well with old birds and with young birds. And uh, uh, also uh, I, we did the same in uh, 2009. Uh, so this is one of the high pounds and uh, we're winning also now uh, five times the first national uh, in a national race of Belgium. One of uh, the famous pigeons are uh, the Uno. He was a national winner uh, of Bourges from 10,900 and a son of him, Solo, he winning also the first national from 560 kilometers uh, with 15 minutes bef before the second. Yeah. Uh, another uh, uh, famous pigeon, of course, top star. Uh, he is now grandfather from seven national winners. That is then more races from 500 to 900 kilometers. All right. These are uh, one of the famous uh, references. Uh, this is also a daughter of Topstar. She is one of the best hands of uh, Belgium. I think one of the best in the world. Yeah? And uh, she is a mother from, you see it, three generations 
ace birds, national ace bird, Olympiad pigeons. Uh, she is 50% uh, Verstraten, 50% uh, Etienne Merlin. The name is Jelena, and uh, you see here. Top star. Sun, yeah. Wait a moment, I shall take this. Yeah. Uh, another famous uh, grandchild of Top Star is the new Blixem from Mr. Uh, Gabi van der Nabele. Yeah. That pigeon winning also uh, first national from Tulle. This is a race from uh, about uh, 650 kilometers and the fastest from 11,000 pigeons. The mother was again here, Kiana, a daughter direct of uh, Top Star. Top star, should we, uh, grandfather? Uh, yeah, grandfather, grandfather. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but okay. Kiana, uh, uh, Kiana was also a uh, mother from, uh, wait a moment, another national winner by Gabi van der Nabele. Uh, another famous grandchild of top star is uh, Black Magic, uh, first national Perpignan, this is a race from 900 kilometers, yeah, and uh, that was from uh, Mr. Eric Lambour, and uh, he make uh, those combination. The father was a beauty star, uh, a full brother of uh, Extra. Yeah. Top star, the, the father of uh, Top Star uh, was uh, Cadillac. Cadillac was a famous all-round pigeon. He winning a first prize from 300 kilometers, but also a first prize from 1,000 kilometers. So really all-round. And the mother was uh, Cathy and she was in, uh, oh, I forgot, in 2001, uh, the best young bird of Belgium, but that was original from Chris Hebrecht.